I'm always on the lookout for something that someone throws out to the curb. I picked up scrap wood, a door, a toolbox, and countless other things. And I saw this, and I thought this would be a good score for me. Maybe something to play with, you know, like I need more to do. I'm busy already, okay? But sure enough, it was still inside, still there. And we are going to figure out how this works because I don't know how to sew or how to use this, but we're going to play with it. So let's do that. Now, I don't know how to sew at all. I kind of sew with just a needle and thread. I don't know how to use any of these. What I do know how to do is break things. And so we're going to break into it and maybe fix it. I don't know. Let's uh, see how it runs. Let's turn it on, let's plug it in. It's got a nice little paddle down here for your knee. Now we just use our knee. Oh. Okay, so the belt's loose. It's kind of rough to turn. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. I figured it's supposed to be smooth. What's this do? What's this do? I don't know. What does that do? So we'll turn it this way. Sounds like a strong motor though. Oh, like a really nice strong motor. Oh, it's variable speed. So it's just loose. Let's fix that. Let's see if that fixed it. Here we go. Slight push with my hand. Okay, so this, this has to be uh, addressed. So maybe be plug and play, but no, I don't want to burn out that motor. How do I take this thing off? It's missing a screw here. Open this baby up. See what it looks like inside, because I have no idea. I'm getting no movement here. It needs to rotate with it. Is there something loose on here? Maybe it just needs WD-40, you know? Is that all it needs? What does this do? This obviously does something. Oh, look, that, that opens up too. What's this do? Oh, the light still works. That's nice. Huh. Look at that, you can sew in the dark, like on all the movies. I think I'm just gonna take it off of this and put it on my table and work from there. How does that work? There's these little screws down here. Probably, if I just do these, it'll just pop right off. Nope. I'm gonna get this off and we'll get it, and you'll see it on the table here in a second. So I was able to get it off, and now we're on the table. I'm taking off this pulley thing, knob, whatever you wanna call it. Now we're gonna add some WD-40 on these parts, so that way you can lube up, because it's been sitting for probably 10 years or something like that. I don't know, it's been sitting a while. It's dusty probably in a garage somewhere. And we're gonna try it that way. Squirt, squirt, squirt. Any part that moves gets a squirt. Ha <laughs> All right. Let's see if this turns. Here we go, rotate it, rotate. Hey, hey, look at this. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. It is moving. Now the next step is to see if it'll spin with the motor. All right, here's the final test here. Okay, I don't know what that does. I don't know what this does. It does something. Here we go. Have an idea. It's an excellent idea. Here we go. Oh yeah, it runs much better now. Much better. <laughs> now for the final test, because that's all I got right now. <laughs> there you go. Under its own power. Now I just need to learn how to sew. 
or how to use it. Put your finger down in there. I dare you. Shiny like a window. Oh my, that's dirty. My goodness, how dirty that is. I don't know what that does. Oh, it clamps it. Oh, okay. This is this has definitely been sitting for who knows how long. I might take this motor apart and uh, address it. Only thing I worry about is that it's gonna be a sleeve bearing because I've had experience with a sleeve bearing before and uh, they're not fun. Not dusty, dirty, or anything. That's good. Is there a spot where I can oil it? Uh, it is a sleeve bearing. Okay. And I see where you gotta do it. Well, that one's thirsty. Look at that. See that? Look how thirsty that was. Probably never been done to this before. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Now we got that motor all situated. We're gonna go ahead and clean it up a little bit more. Make it look nice and shiny-ish. And then uh, install that, install the motor into it. And we're gonna learn how to sew. I'm gonna watch some videos on how to do that. I don't know anything about these parts, so I just went straight into it. That's much better. Oh yeah. Now we just need to sew. <laughs> now I gotta figure out how to do that. Time to YouTube to YouTube. What color do I use? Hmm. Gray. So, here goes nothing. Oh. Oh. Oh, I did it. Oh no, I almost messed it up. Got it. Jesus. Woo. All right. And the video said that it would just automatically grab the bottom bobbin area. Holy shit, that's crazy. And now we're ready to sew. Let's freaking go. Go. That's stuck. Well, balls. I did something wrong. End of the thread through the first thread guard on the top, and then through the second top and then you wind it around the tension dial a little group. Okay. Okay, one more time. Just want to sew this little piece right here. Little sliver. Little sliver. Come on. You should just do it like that. I don't know. Let's see. So, the string broke off again. All right, well, it's obvious I can't sew or figure out how to use this thing, but hey, it works. Look at that, and the light works. The light stopped working. Oh, no, oh, there we go. <laughs> the light still works. All right, I'm gonna figure this out eventually. Might need to find some parts. Bye. 
Why? Why won't you so? Get out of the hole. Get out of there. Get. Go on, get. Holy crap. That's a mickety mess. <sighs> oh, I can sell my name tapes all by myself. Yeah. Oh my God, that's a mess. Holy cow. Oh no. How did that happen? That's just, how much thread did I use? What is going on? What is this thing? Does this thing, whole cold thing come out? No way. Oh, it does. It is dusty and dirty. Maybe that's why. Wow. Okay. All right. The bobbin, ooh, mine, that's dirty. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Huh. Huh. 